Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome of all ages. Hello, welcome of all ages? You know how it goes. Hello, my fellow gears. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome to LA Noir. This is actually my second take of trying this because I had a lot of audio issues. But we're finally going to get started with the game that I actually wanted to do really early in my Let's Play career. Um, originally, this was going to be the first 10 games I did. But for some reason, I decided not to do it. Especially, I think it was the, uh, I started five-starring it, but... I just didn't want to do it. So this time, we we're actually going to sit here and do a 100% run of this game. And I'm talking, we're doing the newspapers, the novels, the five stars, all cars. If we don't do, but uh, all reels and all landmarks. Now the goal is for reels and landmarks, I will do separate videos for those. The rest of them are on their own. So guys, yeah, we want the tutorials. What is backstory, right? A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile. The car. A symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe not be overlooked by his neighbors. The city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. A city of pioneers. A city of dreamers. city of undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. I do absolutely love this game. It's one of my favorite games of the last decade. Uh In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Person, I'll take radio was an exact Here we radio, go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence radio search was. unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Sorry. However, in this game, you do have to be careful. Where this is a Rockstar game, you do have to be relatively safe when it comes to driving. Especially when we get to the real cases. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon, 
bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. Man, detectives are douchebags. I can't wait to be one one day. I'm kidding. All right, so this is a fist pump. With just this game, it's very simple. Probably You're here right. for a few Let's things. Let's just get it over and done. First case. All right, have it your way. We'll search right we do want to grab wall. this because this is one of our Still newspapers. So, uh, shrink. And we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than do one. shrink things. Dr. Fontaine. Could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes. Given the right set of circumstances, trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hand. Chill. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine, he's so far away. It's like he's wandering You around. went through a lot together. Yes, doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Sheldon. And your penance, or your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. Junk. All right, so one of my favorite things about that scene was as you show the hierarchy of needs, which is one of my favorite things to study in psychology. To me, it's one of the realest things there is. Um, it actually came out like two or three years Not my before. Job to pick through other people's trash. Um, it actually happened. This where this great tank game starts taking place. At I think it's forty six. All right, so shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? It's a reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. Speed run. No, All I'm right. not speed running this Don't game. Don't hurt yourself. We're still doing pretty in-depth. up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Easy game, easy life. Please pick it up. We have a 38. I don't think it's a 38. Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Is that even hoist? We should follow up on this now before the perp tries to leave. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph. And see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. So that's very handy to ha know Are where you exactly. Sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Let's see. I think... Yes, if you hold Y instead of press Y, you can have your partner drive. That's going to make this a whole lot easier. And quicker for a lot of... for the most part. So we'll be doing that throughout the entire game. 
It won't tell you till like part of the fifth case. But that's not the point. Alright. Go ahead and rule that you open. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith and Wesson. Model 27 registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? I mean, of course. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Uh, do 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 do, -do. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. No Ordered kind. the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Man, he sounds very shady, but he didn't do anything wrong yet, so... Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. No, you. Now, that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One-of-a-kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. I mean, he is, but... I mean... It Whatever works, you know. And that's what, all that matters. Whatever works. So our next goal is let's go visit the owner, shall we? I mean, but you already saw that coming. Alright. As the game says, if it's gold, you can enter. Thanks again for telling me again. I appreciate it. I mean, it's a tutorial. I'm playing all cases. Schroeder, Schroeder Department 2. Department two. One's right there. Probably two is the first one on the right. Because math logic. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cup him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Correct. You ready, Tuck? I mean, I'm a former Marine. Oh, wait, you, know, you don't know that yet. You're not gonna beat a former Marine that easy, you know, especially at World War II. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine, I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. Hmm, a lot of names. List of names and a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. <laughs> Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247.
You dumb fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? <laughs> Fuck you. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. Didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. I mean, people like to fight too.